Hello, all my friends out there in YouTube land. This is Donna, back with Donna's Creative Dabbles, playing with paint again. But today is very, very special because I'm playing with paint with my sister. We're doing a tabletop that she's got. So I'm gonna get you down here and see if I can do this without really making you sick. Okay. Move in here a little bit. There it is. All right. And she's already mixed her paints and is ready to go. So, okay, sis, pour them in. We've mixed them, their Floetrol and paint with just a little bit of water. And this little table that she had outside decided that she's gonna paint on it. So, She's using the green uh, Master's Touch Light Green and Master's Touch Violet and let's, oh, that is the Thinoxanine Blue by Master's Touch. You all know how much I love to say that. And you can put some of this in between some of them if you want to. And that was the Master's Touch Orange. That's the main difference between Sis and I is she's, she loves orange and I don't. <laughs> and let's see, that was the Mars Black by Liquitex. And the Turquoise Green by Master's Touch. So those are the colors she's using today, and she's just doing a dirty cut pour on this tabletop. Very good. Just, I kind of enjoy doing dirty cut pours because there's just fun. It's actually playing with paint. You have no idea how it's going to turn out, and uh, yeah, it's just fun. So we still got a little bit in there. So I need to use all of them? Mm -hmm. All of it? Okay. Yep. That one's empty. Okay. I usually scrape them. Oh. And then pour that last little bit in. You know what we were just talking about? Well, Mom always said. Yeah, don't waste it. Don't waste. Waste not, want not. That's I'm pour the last little bit out of that one. Yeah, with that cup full, we'll be able to get your sides good too. I'm gonna get our paper towels over here. This is so fun. I've wanted to pour with sis for a long time, ever since I started doing this. And uh, our mother was liked to be artistic and liked to play with paints of all kinds. She was a trichem instructor for years, uh, which was uh, paints and hobby crafts. So we have quilts that she painted and... Um, she had shirts she painted and all kinds of things. So we kind of come by this naturally, don't we, sis? Mm -hmm. She's primed her board, got it all ready to, to go. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like. It will be beautiful. Now, is this going to be okay to use outside, or do I need to keep it? Well, inside? you can use it outside once you once it cures. Then we'll put a coat uh, of resin on it, and that way, then it will be able to use it. Okay. Now you have a choice to make this. You can either take one of these sticks and just a lot of times I'll just make an X in the center of it, or you don't have to. It's up to you. I'll just wing it. Just wing it. All right. Okay, then just start, and you can hold it like this and just let it come out, and it's called like a ring pour, or you can 
do swirl it around, swirl it around or whatever you want to do. No, I don't know. Play what. with paint. Ooh, wow. Look at the colors. I'm liking that. That is very pretty. All right. So we let it set for just a little bit. And I'm going to get one of my skewers over here. Because I do see, well, where did I see that little clumpy? It'll probably get poured off right here. It's probably going to go off the edge there. But... Yep, it'll probably be poured off, but we'll just go ahead and get him out, and then we don't have to worry about him. Okay. And uh, then we're going to, this is the fun part, sis. <laughs> we get to play with fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mom would not be happy. <laughs> this, this scares Gary that I have. Look at the cells. There's no silicone in this paint, guys. Do not think that in order to get cells that you have to have silicone. The flow trawl and the paint gives me beautiful oh, I love cells. This. Is that those little dots mm -hmm. there? That's the dots. And I'm just going around and popping the air bubbles. Oh, that's what's making the little uh -huh. dots, huh? That's, and this brings up the... Is there a little the piece cells. there that needs to come out? Yeah, it might be. You can just use that little skewer and get it out. Okay. I'm going to have to refill that here. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so at this point, you just pick it up. And the one thing I'll warn you about is there's carpet on the floor. <laughs> Gary would appreciate it if you keep if the paint keep on the table. table. <laughs> <laughs> I always warn anybody about that. So you just tilt. And you can kind of take your hand at the corner to keep so much from going off and kind of taking the paint down. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll show you. I'll put my glove on and show you. Oh, wow. I'm just going to dab, take my finger and dab that corner there to get some paint on it. Oh, I see what you mean. Just yeah, to just make, just the, make sure it. it's covered. Yeah, to make it sure it comes down all the way on the sides and the corners. Oh, wow. Look at that orange oh, in there. Yes. Oh, gosh, that is going to be gorgeous. Is everything yeah. covered on your side? Everything is covered over here. Really Everything's good. Everything's covered over here. So now and I just have Hang on just a second. I'm going to switch this one out with this one since that one has so much paint on the top of it. Oh, look at that. Now you can leave it like that. <laughs> Another decision to make. Another decision. Or you liked the one that I had done upstairs. And you can play. You can make swirlies in it if you want to, and with the comb, or you can just leave it like I that. I like it like this. All right. <laughs> That's. Well, what do I do about this? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have all these. I told you this was messy, and you can wipe your hands on that. Wipe your gloves. That glove got paint on it. I didn't even have it on. <laughs> and I always keep my baggie here for my trash. All right. Oh, wow. That really looks good. And you can take, if you would like to, and it probably needs to because there, I do see a few more air bubbles afterwards. Oh. I'll even, if you want to do this. No, you're doing, you're doing a fine job. <laughs> now, Gary, when I first got this, said, you're going to use that outside, right? <laughs> And I said, no. And he goes, that's fire, Donna. <laughs> and I said, Gary, I took welding class when in college. Did you tell me you were a Girl Scout? You knew all about how to <laughs> handle fire? <laughs> yes. I said, I think I've got it handled so far. Knock on wood. I haven't set the house on fire, so. Oh, yeah, I like that. See a lot of air bubbles popping. So... Get all oh, those. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh wow. 
I like it, sis. I, I like it a lot. I can see how this could become addictive. <laughs> uh, yes, very definitely it is. So, all right. Well, thank you so much for joining me and my sister today as we've played with paint. It's gorgeous. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.